ਗੁਰਦਾਰਤ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਸਿਰਾ ਕੋ ਬਾਤ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਸਿਰਾ ਕੋ ਬਾਤ ਕੋ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਚਲਣਾ ਬਲਦੇ ਸਵਰਾਜ ਸਨਾਨ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਆਲ ਗਲੋਰੀ ਟੂ ਅਸਮ taking care of so many devotees of so many members of our congregation so a belated birthday wishes to Rupa Nugra Prabhu Hare Krishna So uh, moving on we have lots that we want to talk about of course this is the second last Sunday before the biggest festival of the year before I go into that I'll just mention that this weekend we had lots of festivities that were going on particularly related to the Sankirtan movie yeah! So we are hoping that everybody can chip in in whatever little way that they can. Um, One, two, three. Yeah! And third time, so loud, as loud as you can. One, two, three. Shri Jagannath, Nadiyat, Ramaha, Mahatsal, Ki. Let's give a warm welcome to His Grace Rupa Nugra Prabhu. I appreciate it. We'll just spend about a few minutes explaining what this very special festival is all about, and then we'll go right into it. I appreciate it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Krishna Prabhu. I just say a very short prayer and then we'll start. Namo Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishthaya, Bhutale, Srimate, Bhaktivedanta, Swami, Nathana. Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Narvani, Vicharine, Nirvishesh, Srinivani, Pashtakta, Vishnaya. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Kadadhar, Shri Vasadi, Gaur. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. So as you've been hearing, today is a very, very special day. We are celebrating Jaya Dhanadhi Krishna. We are celebrating a very important and very interesting festival called Snan Yadra. Isnan basically means to take bath. So it's something to do with bathing. 
and I want to give you the background and I want to tell you about the details of the festival. So as we know, how many people know who Lord Jagannath is? Just very quickly raise your hands. How many know who Lord Jagannath is? So not many. So I'm just going to take one minute to explain. You see Lord Krishna in the middle altar. Lord Krishna the dark colored personality. The male personality in that altar, on that altar. Lord Jagannath is none other than Krishna himself in a particular mood. Lord Jagannath is not an incarnation, not an expansion, not different from Krishna. It's Krishna himself in a particular mood. And I don't have a lot of time to talk about the past time, but basically the mood is that Krishna is hearing stories of his own activities when he was in Vrindavan. And when he's hearing the stories, he's actually in a place called Dwarka. So even though he was living in Dwarka, which is about a thousand miles from Vrindavan, where he spent the first ten and a half years of his life, he's constantly thinking about his times in Vrindavan, his friends, his parents, elders, etc., and all the activities he did. So when he's hearing these activities of his own, being in Dwarka, he basically goes in a trance, listening to these stories, his pastimes. And he falls so much in love with those stories and those activities as he's remembering them by hearing, his eyes go very wild. It's like you've seen little children, when they see something very amazing, their eyes go wide. Oh my God, like that? He's basically doing that. Was it that good? And starts missing. And then missing is feeling so much ecstasy. And this kind of sometimes hard to believe that his limbs go inside his body. So if you look at the deity of Lord Jagannath, you will see there are no hands. It's basically a figure. Rest is gone inside his body. You'll also notice there are no legs. They're gone inside his body. And it's all a symptom of his love for his friends in Vrindavan. So Lord Jagannath, Lord Krishna actually depicts love for Krishna. In this case, Krishna is in love with himself. But in our case, we're learning how to love Krishna. So that's what Lord Jagannath is. Now, he's living in Dwarka with his 16,108 wives who are serving him in an amazing manner that you and I cannot even imagine how well he is served by his wives. Completely surrendered wives, they love him completely with their body, with their mind, with their speech. So he is very satisfied but he is still missing his friends in Vrindavan. The the wives don't want him to go back to Vrindavan because all the stories they heard about his girlfriends in Vrindavan, they're worried, the wifely worry that we don't want our husband to go and associate with other girls. So they want to make sure he never goes back to Vrindavan. Krishna wants to go back to Vrindavan to see his friends and his sister. So he's thinking about a plan. And the plan, the execution of that plan is today, which is what I'm going to tell you about. So basically he goes to take a car in the ocean. As you know, this ocean is by the city of Dwarka. He comes back and he appears to get sick. That's his pastime. Krishna in reality never gets sick, but he appears to get sick. So for 15 days, he is sick is being taken care of by his wives. For those 15 days, he's not available to anybody else. And that's the significance of closing the doors. He's not giving his darshan, which is not visible, to anybody other than his wives. For those 15 days. So actually, in this temple also, for 15 days, the doors will not open. And they'll open 15 days from now, on the day of Rath Yatra, which is July 15. 16, sorry, July 16th, I don't even my point. July 16th. So, 
His idea is that for 15 days, I will be with my wives all the time. So to their heart's content, exclusively they can serve me. And then they'll be in good mood, and I'll ask their permission to go to Vrindavan. Of course, all their doubts will come up again. So I will tell them, I'm going with my brother. Brother's name is Balaram. And they all know, everybody knows Krishna behaves extremely well in the company of Lord Balaram. Because even though Lord Balaram is an older brother, he acts like a parent. So in front of the parent, most people behave. So his idea is that wives will be convinced that in the presence of Balaram, I will behave. And then he says, I will also take my sister. And the present sister boys really behave well. So you know, I will not do any, if I can use the term, thank you, when I go to Vrindavan. So this way he prepares his wives to get permission to go to Vrindavan. So today's festival, this Nan Yatra, is for, for the celebration of that particular plan that Krishna executed on this particular day. And so what happens is that in all the temples now, two weeks before their scheduled Nathyat. By the way, the official date is determined by the temple in Dignanath Puri. And so it's usually 15 days before Nathyat, which is always a full mass, full moon day. And that's when the bathing happens. So now in the present time, the big Lord Jagannath deity with lots of water and thousands and thousands of devotees bathe him. So now he has really good excuse to become sick because in that, that weather, cold water makes him sick. Again, it's not past that. So and then he's taken to, into the temple with the doors closed. Now, in today's context, something is happening inside the temple. And that is called now Bhavana, which means making him look young again. So basically what happens is that over a period of one year, the paint which is really material pain, sometimes wears off. Sometimes there are scratches on the DD of Lord Jagannath. So they use this 15 days to repair any chip paints or any chips or any other you know, marks on the body on the DT, they can repair all that. And sometimes in this temple also, not every year, but every alternate year, uh, we have a very wonderful devotee, Lila Kathamataji. She comes and repaints the deities. So at the end of it, they start looking like new, young deities. Just known as now Yavunam, which means new youth. So that is done uh, for in those 15 days. As I said, the, the doors are closed. The worship of the deities does not stop. The worship still continues but with the doors closed. So I think that's my, my time, so I should stop, right? Okay. Thank you very much. I hope I was able to give you a glimpse of what it's about. Thank you. Thank you.
बड़े प्रसन्न होते हैं तो आइए साथ रखते हैं इसका आनंद याद हो जाए और ये आपका यूपी वाले खुलता है आनंद लीजिए
नाथ की साथ मधुराष्ट्र को गाएंगे इस दिन जगन्नाथ रथ यात्रा के दिन पूरी में मधुराष्ट्र को बड़ी गाते हैं तो जो चौथा लाइन है द फोर्थ लाइन मधुराधिपतेर अखिलम मधुरम साथ गाएंगे और बाकी का मैं गाऊंगा जितने आते हैं वो साथ ही गा सकते हैं ओ आई एम इन टोरंटो साई शुक्स पी इंग्लिश है सो द फोर्थ लाइन मधुराधिपतेर अखिलम मधुरम आई विल ऑल सिंग टुगेदर दैट्स द हुक दे कॉल इट इन द वेस्टर्न सो हियर गोस Well, when Chaitanya sees Krishna face to face, the first thing he says, "My dear Krishna," the song could have started anyway. But what did he say? Adhram Madhuram, my dear Krishna, you have beautiful lips. So actually, it's the most romantic song, and the best kind of romance, of course. Adhram Madhuram, Adhram Madhuram.
कब आओगे वापस हरे रामा Krishna, 
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.
How would you express that emotion in, in the Hare Krishna movie? So I thought I came up with this. So imagine now Krishna's left. This is the first night without Krishna. They're in complete shock and disbelief. And as they lay there uh, on their beds, uh, uh, you can imagine that everything is quiet. Everything is uh, bereft of Krishna. So here's the melody. As they lay and the night gets long, they cannot sleep thinking about what had just happened. They're singing. Thank 
like a lullaby, but at the same time there's sadness, you know?